Hello, my name is Thomas Claxton. I play Colin Breeshwell in Endure and the Jigsaw Blogs. I've also helped out editing this project with Jacob Bolton himself. And yeah, here to answer some questions. So some of my favourite horror movies growing up had to be obviously Saw. And well, The Ring from 2002, the remake of the Japanese movie Ring, was actually a pretty good movie too. I love the story, love the acting, love everything about the movie, except for that filter they applied and overused over the top of it, that green blue hue. But those two movies, just Saw 1 and The Ring, absolutely like shape like what cinema is. Like Saw, you got its like gratuitous violence and the gore and the blood. And then The Ring, yeah, it was like its artsy style mixed with like the score and like the storytelling, even though it was a remake, like it was just a unique take on like a horror movie that I absolutely love. And I haven't picked up a steelbook of it recently. Now my memories on the Saw franchise, like for example Saw 1, I think I was like 7 or 8 years old when I first watched that movie. Yeah. Around that time, anyway, my parents got it, like, for a barley copy of it. I watched it, like, it wasn't that scary, to be honest, but the twist ending really, really got me. I just did not expect that from, like, you know, a movie. I really love the twists that they use in the Saw movies, especially the first one. had the best twist I've ever seen, like, from a movie of all time. Now, the traps. From the Saw movies, the traps are obviously what makes like a Saw movie a Saw movie, or you know, a major key factor of it. Now, the traps, like for example, the reverse bear trap and the Venus flytrap, are completely iconic. The reverse bear trap alone is its own thing. I am actually waiting on a Saw set with like a miniature like reverse bear trap prop, but the Saw traps are just amazing in terms of like you know VFX and like how they create the pop or property master, the props master did an absolutely good job making them in all the Saw movies with multiple prop masters from each movie. But the first, like, the reverse bear trap in Saw 1 is probably the best, like, most iconic trap from the, uh, from the entire franchise, honestly. So when Jacob reached out to me, like, well, in the middle of, like, you know, shooting and editing, he helped me, which is on the Saw fanverse right here. Um, yeah, we were actually surprised that he'd reach out to us because, you know, just didn't really know many people back then. It was like last year or the year before, actually, like, you know, during mid-shooting and editing, if he helped me. And, yeah, I was ecstatic beyond, you know, belief. I was like, oh, that was a sore fan project. I mean, I'm working on one myself, but, you know, I'll actually, you know, reach out for this, make, you know, a little cameo on the show or, you know, as I'm doing a little bit of editing as well on the side. And, yeah, I'm just going to be in the show, I guess. <laughs> Now, my character, Colin Breeshwell, is a um, is from his own Saw universe. He was first seen in He Helped Me, 2021, I believe. And he has his own backstory, because I'm Australian, of course, so I can't exactly you know, fly over the US or any other countries with films Saw fan films as of yet. You know, you need a budget. <laughs> but for the Jigsaw blogs, he has appeared, or he's going to appear in a future episode or two. Um, it's just going to be like Simon's little cameo and you might you know, have another episode in like, you know, season two in the future, I hope. Um, but Colin Breachwell is just an Australian, you know, article writer, news article writer or reporter, if you want, if you will. And he's just, yeah, does his own news reports. He has his own character story, which you'll see in my fan film, Enjoy, which is coming out October 30th this year, actually. So, you know, if you want to stick around and watch Enjoy, by all means. It's a part of the Saw fanverse. Technically, it's canon to the Saw fanverse right here. And, yeah, you get to see a lot more of my character and Endure and other Saw projects that I've coming up too. What can you expect from the first season or the ending of season one of the Jigsaw blogs? It's going to be a very big twist. You're not going to see this coming and you're not going to see... We're not going to believe who's actually going to be in it. That's all I can say, I just can't spoil this for you, but you're not going to, like, believe what's going to happen in, like, the last few minutes of Season 1. It's going to be huge.
And a prop from Endure is this baby I built myself. It's a, you know, makeshift, you know, shotgun collar. Obviously, you know, it doesn't work because, you know, legality, of course. But yeah. Alright, closing my part of the interview, if you can, check out the Saw, or the extended, you know, Saw fanverse that we have going on here. You know, we've got Saw Heritage, here, Help Me, Jigsaw Blog, Rehabilitation, Game Over, and soon to be Endure, which is my Saw fan film, so can't wait for you to watch that. Can you tell me what happened to you last night? I don't remember the actual part. Well, what were you doing outside of life? In the very early hours of today, a young man was said to be found locked in a barn cell on an abandoned farm located about 30 minutes outside the city. Local detective Brian Nolany was stated to be the first one on the scene. The nameless victim was then quickly rushed off to hospital under the supervision of Detective Nolany. <laughs>